100 years ago, half a million dollars was enough to build the longest concrete bridge in the world. And that bridge was built right here in Allentown. Tonight's History's Headline says the story behind the 8th Street Bridge. And the bridge is becoming one with nature even after 100 years. It's starting to crumble. The landmark it was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. He was afraid to work on the bridge. There are quite a few people that when I told them that we were planning this exhibit, they sort of looked at me a little confused as to, you know, why? Why are you doing this? Misunderstood? Maybe. Tenacious? Certainly. Ann Lalek has had one particular bridge on the brain for a while. This idea of having a centennial celebration of the A Street Bridge was on my mind. The size and the structure and the beauty of the arches. And this year, the time was finally right to do something about it. 2013 marks the 100th year anniversary of the 8th Street Bridge. Lalek is gallery director and arts coordinator at Penn State Lehigh Valley. She has spearheaded a new interactive exhibit that's all about one of the Lehigh Valley's most recognizable structures. So many artists historically were inspired by the bridge. Nearly 30 of them are represented here. Their paintings, photographs, and sculptures depict the bridge at the various stages that preceded its century status. Getting the collection started was easy enough. All Lalek had to do was raid her own home. My husband, who's in construction, uh, developed an interest in collecting art about the 8th Street Bridge. While the exhibit pays homage to the bridge's aesthetics, it's also a nod to its historical significance. The building of that bridge, I think, was pivotal in the growth of the Lehigh Valley. It was the longest concrete bridge in the world. General Harry Trexler and his Lehigh Valley Transit Company are credited with coming up with the idea for the bridge as a way to extend their Liberty Bell trolley line to Philadelphia. Planning began in 1900, but it took 13 years for those blueprints to come to life. The actual dedication date was November 17th in 1913. Lately, it seems the bridge has lost some of its luster. It's listed among the state's structurally deficient. Renovations slated for next year include fences to deter suicide attempts. But for better or for worse, local admirers and artists like Ann Lalek hope the 8th Street Bridge is here to stay for another 100 years. The exhibit runs through December 20th.